anything like me, you love consuming content. Doom scrolling on Instagram, falling in the YouTube rabbit hole, even binging on Netflix. I love it. But there's always that bad feeling after just spending hours consuming something. Like, wait, what did I actually gain from this? And here I'm not talking about watching a movie with your friends or your partner. I'm talking about the time that you could have been spending with your friends or with your partner. But TikTok. So I'm doing a little hike today around this valley here that you can see behind me. And we're staying in this village called Tortorella, which is located like on this little mountain. So that's this road going down here behind me in the valley. And well, that's the way we're going today. I have no clue where to go. Now, Sally and I have our little business. We create content and help small businesses with their social media. And the point where our business really took a step forward was when we actually started to create more than we consume. We would often like get the work done that needed to get done and then just well stop and spend hours consuming anything really. But when we spent that time creating instead, we grew our new Instagram page, pivoted our business with great success and learned just tons of new skills because we were actually implementing and creating. And at the same time, we were having a ton of fun. But I can really feel the sun starting to come up behind me. So let's continue with the hike. But here's another side to all of this, that primarily consuming content is often linked with lower self-esteem, anxiety, even depression, while primarily creating content actually leads to quite the opposite. So really now we consume a lot more with intention. So we consume to blow off steam, we consume to get inspired, to see what our favorite creators are up to, and we consume to learn. But all with intention and quite importantly, with some sort of time limit to it. Now, I love learning on YouTube, but I'm also very guilty of watching perhaps 10 videos on the same topic and kind of justifying it to myself with like, oh yeah, I'm learning, so this is time well spent, when probably I could have just watched one or two videos and then actually gone and implemented and practiced what was talked about in these videos and I would have been so much further. And of course I would be lying if I said that we never wasted time on consuming anything. That's far from the truth, but we are, have gotten a lot better at it and that has really made a huge difference in both our business and our personal lives. have to take pictures and make videos like we do. I mean, even for Sally, that's not even her main thing. Her thing is really helping other people grow on social media and grow their business. And kind of the photos and videos just to support that. But for me, that's my main thing, right? But I mean, you could be painting, you could be singing, you could be crafting something, or you could be creating the most badass Excel sheet out there. I mean, the point is to watch less reels of other people painting and paint more yourself. So let's get into some practical steps to actually create more and consume less. Now, as I mentioned earlier, a great place to start is by setting some sort of time limit on the amount of time you spend consuming content. So that could be saying, okay, now I watch YouTube for 30 minutes before I start writing my novel again. There are also like apps that exist that can help you kind of keep track of all of this and help you limit the use of certain apps if you, if you feel like you need that. Now, a large part of why we create more is to grow our business, but it doesn't have to be that for you. Maybe you just want to go out and take some nice pictures or play the guitar or even go for a hike. And even though you aren't putting anything out there on the internet, you're still creating something just for yourself. And thirdly, don't strive for perfection. If you're going to put something out there, just do it. If you keep making excuses like you don't have the right gear or that image isn't quite good enough or the video is not quite cinematic enough, you'll never get out of that cycle. So just get it out there, create, share, repeat. I mentioned a few times our Instagram profile, which has been a big part of 
this create more for us. And we have grown this profile quite a lot actually over the past 10 months. And that hasn't been by accident. If you want to learn a bit more about like, the exact strategies we used and kind of the plan we made and the steps we followed to grow this profile, check out the video right here. Because having a specific goal and a strategy and a plan, if you want to grow a profile either for a personal brand or for a business, it's quite important. So check it out and see you in the next one.